If anybody can tell me what this is, it's a GM 70 horsepower engine. You're not going to believe what's at the Corvair Convention in Jacksonville, Florida, 2009. One of 63 Dynatrack factory Corvair powered tracked machine. How'd you run across it? On the internet. On the internet. Uh, I keep hearing that from someone in the other room. Get off the internet! Well, then that's why I didn't get this thing. Yeah, our plug in the back there is not the original. What is it? <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. What was the description of it on the internet? That's what I wanted. Uh, <laughs> what the heck is this? Actually, the first thing I saw about it was actually Dave Newell. What the heck is it? It's a floating machine. Got a drive shaft, just like a heavy duty truck. Sitting outside for 14 years, these gentlemen have spent years putting it together. It's hydraulically driven with brakes. You put the brakes on to turn it and you power it with a drive shaft with a differential. I don't know how this thing works. Towing warning. From operation of front unit alone. Drive with caution. Choke. Levers. Arms. Low tech seats. Gauges. Cartridges. And warnings. Winch operation. Dynatrack made by Bar Barge. That's a weird machine. And it's Corvair powered. You may not ever see another one like it. And here one is special castings for the top oil pressure adapter, the oil filter, generator mounted off to the side. Specially made. Can we hear this baby try and start, maybe? Like I said, people like to watch the videos where things don't start better than when they do start. <laughs> don't ask me why. Uh, we don't have the batteries hooked up right now. We, we're going to probably try to get a mechanical fuel pump. This one's actually we, outside. outside well, I think we're going to try to put a mechanical fuel pump on it, see if we can get it running that way. <laughs> That reason. Well, oh, mate, don't seem to be pushing enough fuel up to the motor. Yeah. Sounds like you need a boat squeeze pump uh, for a boat. Oh, just well, it's got that bilge pump in it. Mm -hmm. Right there, it'll come out, come out, well, side over. Yeah. Grab the same for the fuel. You could use a boat fuel tank oh, with a little squeeze on. pump. Yeah. yeah, just just to hear this baby run. So the, this was manufactured in the early 60s. 66. 66. Uh, dates on the plate. Date. date and uh, the manufacturer date and the delivery date are on that. Uh, one How do you hop in? On the early models, there was a place right here to put a foot, to put your foot in. <laughs> but on the, this one, you just basically step on the track and go over. I won't be scratching no, anything, will I? No. We have, a, we have a full new set of track for it when we get it. Oh, man. Title from California. So okay. that's what I was with the road tag. Carrier road utility road articulated yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. model XM571. Yes. Serial number 0017. Engine serial number 96513-12E173. Year of manufacture 1976. Capacity, who knows? Yeah. Manufactured by Canada Limited Montreal. And I know exactly where that factory was and is. Exactly. How do you like that? Right around the corner. Right around the corner. <laughs> Water entry. Switch on bilge pumps. Use second gear low range. Maintain forward motion. Maintain approximately 3,000 RPM. Water operation. Maintain approximately 3,000 RPM. Maximum water speed is obtained in fourth gear low range. This is amazing. I had no idea. I rode my bicycle by there a thousand times on my way to Canadian Tire across the street. They used to have water tankers because Canada Air made water tankers at that factory. <laughs> you can never get rid of it. You can never get rid of it because when you pay with it, they give you back. I once had a ones that are two dollars and ones that are two cents. Yeah, with that fellow on the cover with the big mustache on the on the bills. Yeah. 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 So I gotta give them to you. You're supposed to have forgot all that now, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know. What? You're 
Alright. I'm done recording. How are the Corvair?